really having a good night. Oh my God, it is so beautifully refreshing this morning. All right, here we go, guys. Look at that. Cheers, y'all. Welcome to another In The Out episode. As you can see, we're doing a little camping by the river. So it's Friday night, super hot today. I think it's 85 degrees out. And uh, last minute I just decided to get out. It's been a while since we've been out. Um, decided to come to a new spot. It's kind of noisy, but uh, we're gonna have a good time. I'm gonna do some um, barbecue chicken tacos, spicy chicken tacos on the fire, street taco style. I got all this stuff to put on them. We got some cheesy uh, queso dip and chips. Got some Coronas. Actually need to add a lime to this bad boy. I got a special drink for the dinner. And then um, this is actually gonna be the last time um, I'm camping in this truck camping setup. And I know I just finished it like in the fall. I've only really got a couple episodes in it, but something happened. And uh, I'll tell you guys a little bit about that at dinner time. But uh, yeah, time to say goodbye to this setup and uh, show you guys what's gonna happen next. But anyway, guys, stay tuned. It's a beautiful night. We're gonna sit here and look at these beautiful trees and uh, relax and have a nice little campfire and just enjoy this night out. This is gonna be the first time I've ever camped with the windows open. It's supposed to be a low of 65 tonight. so. Uh, no problems there, probably sleeping in the boxers on top of the blanket. And I'm uh, just looking forward to having a peaceful night. See you guys in a minute. shallow and we just move over yonder. Once we're down there and freak out. Down on that little dock on the inside here. Give it a shot.
All right, guys. Well, it's still like 83 degrees. It is. Eighty one. But uh, I'm getting hungry so we're gonna cook and I'm gonna go ahead and light the fire just for like ambiance. And I wanna smell it and have the fire going, especially before the sun goes down. Low is sixty five, we probably won't need it, but uh I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the fire going and then uh Yeah, it's time to make some dinner. Make up some tacos. Okay. First things first. We better crack another cerveza. Cheers, guys. All right, let's uh, get the fire.
<clears throat> so we got our chicken and our seasoning. Just wait for the grill to get hot and clean. We got some corn, some cilantro lime salsa. We got the Mexican queso or cheese, um, street taco tortillas, red chili pepper flake, a jalapeno, a couple of limes, an avocado. I have one tamale that I had from a lady that makes them um, out on the street that's really good. It's just corn, I don't know how I'm gonna warm it up. And then I got the jet boil out because we have the queso, Taco Bell style, and the chips for the chips and cheese. So first thing I'm gonna do is uh, cut a lime because I feel like I have a beer right here and I haven't even cut a lime yet. Let's take that guy off. Make sure we don't lose that garbage. Can feel the heat off that fire. It's already hot. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a nice one. Better keep my hands out of my face now. If you guys have ever had fresh uh, jalapenos, but for me, they're warm. They're really warm. So that's for me. I'm kind of a lightweight. I enjoy heat, but I am not like one of those people that can hammer down the hot stuff. But I wouldn't want to uh, eat meals without it. If that makes any sense. Girl's getting hot. All right, I better get the uh, chicken going. All right, I need another beer, and then I'm gonna tell you guys uh, why I'm saying goodbye to the truck camping set. So it's kind of bittersweet because, you know, I just finished that canopy and if you guys watched the two makeovers I did on it, I bought it for a hundred bucks. It was gold, I sanded it down, truck bed lined it, put the rack on, put the rack on it, tinted the windows, we did the weather stripping from it to the truck. We did the weather stripping in the windows. Put all new hardware in the windows. Put all new screens in. Added curtains. And like totally did it up since I got it for a hundred bucks. And I had went into the dealership, um, the canopy dealership, not a truck. It's not a truck, guys. Um, I really like my old truck. I would like to keep camping in it for as long as I can. The only worry I have about it is how far it can make it on like a, um, road trip and not break down but uh, anyway so I went into the dealership and they wanted $3,600 for the mid-rise canopy that has the little like the six more inches more headroom just kind of comes up a little bit and um because I'm pretty cramped in there even though I, I get by with it and I love it but I wanted a mid-rise so they quoted me $3,600 for a mid-rise canopy with sliding windows and windows I'm not going to spend $3,600 on a canopy for a 25 year old truck so, like over the last eight months, ever since I decided I wanted to truck camp and start a YouTube channel and 
I, actually, I wanted to share it with you guys and, and, and advance my setup. I've been looking for a mid-rise. And uh, I, <laughs> I found one. Um, it's, all, it's all black, nice and shiny. The windows are already tinted. The shocks are good. Um, it's in fantastic condition, and I got it for $200. So we are going to, yeah, sure, check it out. I took a picture of it for you guys. We're going to uh, we're gonna have to put a roof rack on it, so that's something I'm going to have to do. It doesn't have any screens, but I have the screen material left over from the makeover on this canopy. So we're going to put new screens in it, put a roof rack on it, and then I'm going to change the locks out and it's done. The only thing it doesn't have is carpet. It's just fiberglass inside, so I'm not sure how I'm going to work that out. I'm not really worried about it now. we got a couple months of summer, but we're going to do a makeover on it really quick. We're going to put the rack on it. I'm going to take the toolie and the kayak stuff off, put it on it. Um, and we're gonna have to do a new curtain system in it. And then um, I'm gonna throw it on the truck and we're gonna have more headroom. So that's the uh, big change. Like I said, I wasn't gonna buy a new canopy, but I always like watch for, you know, camp and stuff and deals on different things that I can use in, in, in this lifestyle. And um, I feel blessed to get that, excited to do, the, not excited to do the makeover because I just did one, but um, you know, excited to do the makeover. So we're gonna knock that new canopy out and get it on there. And then I'll sell this one um, probably for two or three hundred bucks and get my money back at least on the canopy and you know maybe a little bit towards the rack so uh, cheers to that the mid-rise is coming on the old uh, green wing there I'm excited There's so much more room inside all right let's check the chicken let's check the chicken looking good guys not that I need it but I'm, I'm hungry I'm always hungry so let me know what you guys think about the uh, new canopy or, I want to get that done fast because I want to spend more time out in the woods and less time working on the truck again all right I have a feeling it's time to pull the chicken check the chicken Even though it's hot. Case of nice and slow because why is that curving? That's weird. All right, we're gonna plate. Grab a case off. All right, we had an emergency. We need a bigger plate. And let's go. I go. Oh man, we don't even have avocado and cheese on them yet. Cilantro and salsa. And just a little 
little bit of red chili powder. I gotta get our special drink. Hold on. <coughs> Topo Chico. Hard seltzer, spiked sparkling water, strawberry guava. It is ice cold. 4.7%. Only 200 calories. Let's see. Let's see what this thing's all about. Oh, that's the grind. I'm about to smash this. <laughs> all right, here we go, guys. Look at that. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what's up. It's chicken taco night. Truck camping, baby. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I'm getting that humble feeling again. I just can't help but feel so lucky. I don't know, it just hits me like. I'm just really thankful. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for following along. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. I really enjoy this and uh, I'm so blessed and lucky that I get to do it. My body works, the truck, I know how to cook, just a fire and where I live, there's no war. It's really lucky. Getting married and 97 days she's amazing supporting me letting me be out here she knows it matters and uh, cheers guys So good. <clears throat> you guys got any recipes you want me to try? I could use some ideas. Drop a comment. I have an email. In the description, if you guys want to email me a recipe or whatever you want to email. I'm really having a good night. I hope you guys are enjoying the episode. It'll be a great Friday evening. Tastes like bubbly strawberry water. <laughs> really. All right, guys. I'm going to smash this down, clean up, and then uh, see you guys over by the fire.
It's hot. Sixty-nine. Okay. It's warm. On a low of fifty-four. So I might have to use the covers, we'll see. On the way. Let's get a movie going. Hey everybody, welcome to Don't Do What Steve Does. I've got an idea today that's so crazy, I just had to bring someone with me. We are gonna go camping hey, crazy in a neighbor. Mine. So, with no further ado, let's get hiking. And this is the part everybody's gonna skip over until we get to the mine. So I'll keep it short. It's probably a total of two and a half kilometers, maybe three kilometers in, which in miles, what do you think that would be, crazy neighbor? 1.6 kilometers per mile, so got our lights. And uh, as always, that this is not an example or something to do. Never go into an abandoned mine. Um, God, it is so beautifully refreshing this morning. It's a wonderful, peaceful night. Good morning, guys. Oh, 6.53. Getting up a little early this morning. I gotta get up, get on the road, but I really want some coffee and uh, the sunrise coming through the window this morning was so pretty. Just fiery sky. Cool breezes blowing through. It was pretty warm last night. It didn't cool down until like maybe like three. And I can finally put my covers on. We need to uh, get up and make some coffee. Look at this bright. I don't have my spoon. Yeah. Oh well. It's ready. It's fast like a Keurig.
right, y'all. Well, I had a great time. I uh, really enjoyed just seeing the river and uh, being out in the woods, finally on a summer night. I slept fantastic. The tacos were amazing. It was hot, but I still enjoyed the campfire and just uh, being in these big, massive trees is, uh, it's just, it's real majestic and uh, relaxing and peaceful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, just a quick little camping episode, truck camping episode, and uh, we're gonna get back at it. Stay tuned for the uh, new canopy makeover. And uh, we're heading up into the mountains, I hope, for the next couple camping cooks. Like I said, it's warming up. So the snow and the down tree should be out of the way. Um, if you guys made it this far, I appreciate you. Maybe hit that like button if you're so inclined. If you're new here, hit subscribe, get notifications to the new videos. And uh, I look forward to, um, I look forward to some more adventures, guys. I appreciate you being here. Until next time, I'll see you in the woods.